Okay, so today <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to make um, the praying mantis. To make the head of the praying mantis, you have to um, fold the pipe cleaner in half like this. Okay, and so then here's the point on the bottom. Take two beads. Um, here I'm using a melon bead, but you can use um, a pony bead or something like that, something that has a big hole. And you put, you string them on toward the um, toward the point. Then you make two folds where you want the head to, to end. And you've got to make this pretty small because you're going to try and wrap all this with just one pipe cleaner. So the head should be, be like a triangle basically. So you can see that. So then when you've got your triangle head, you take the two back um, strands and you twist them together. So then you have your triangle shape. Next, you take one of the strands and you wrap it in front of the bead eye, you twist the strand over the eye again, and then you go through the front like that, and now squish the back together. You can do the same for the other side. So. You go in front of the bead and then you go behind and then you go through and uh, push the, the back so, so the whole strand is uh, through. So your praying mantis head should look like this. So this is the front still of the nose. So now you gotta take one of the sides and push it back through again over the top and pull that around. And so do the same for the other side. Push this around around and through that and so you can pinch the front a little tighter and then make sure it's all in place and that's your head that's the head of your Praying Mantis with the two antennae. Okay, now to make the body of the Praying Mantis, um, take some pipe cleaners. Here I'm going to use some different colored pipe cleaners, but you can make your Praying Mantis all in one color if you want. Um, but in nature, sometimes they're multicolors, so whatever you want to do. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take three pipe cleaners and you're going to bend them in the middle 
this. So you have um, <clears throat> three loops on the end. Then right about here, um, on the praying mantis, you want to take a new pipe cleaner and wrap it around the middle to hold. Like that, so that you, you hold your bundle pretty tight. Um, push the two green tails up and uh, take the head you made earlier and thread it through toward the back until the head is about midway. Then fold the two threads you have over and coming underneath, just wrap it around. And do the same with the other side. Like that. Now your head is attached to your body. Take the two green tails here and also wrap those around the neck area here. To hold that together. Then, with a new pipe cleaner, <clears throat> come um, at around the middle and wrap the pipe cleaner twice around the middle and once with the other side there. And then take the arm. Actually, there we go. Then take the arm here, and you're gonna make the shape of the praying mantis um, arms. That, uh -huh. and uh, clip the excess, measure out your, make sure you cut the same amount on both sides, there we go, And uh, like that, have the hooks going down. Take the four strands 
you have here and fold them outward to two back and uh, two two in the front <clears throat> um, and then you can bend the legs such that they um, they have joints And then these two loops on the back are the wings. Now you can leave your pipe cleaner praying mantis like this, or you can uh, sort of fill them out more. So <clears throat> take a green pipe cleaner and uh, to raise his wings here a little bit and just wrap on the back of his abdomen I guess um, just wrap almost to the back and then turn around <clears throat> And uh, finish it here. Um, tuck the end in there. Then you have his abdomen or thorax. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. Put the wings back down. Um, so that's what he looks like. Um, also, you can uh, you can fill out his uh, his uh, arms, his sort of claw arms. So to do that, take a pipe cleaner right at the tip and just basically wrap it on there um, like this. wrapping the first arm then just go to the second arm and starting the same way as you did before just uh, wrap this side um, all the way up Uh, and then you have your finished praying mantis so you can adjust the arms so they look like a praying mantis more this is where the bends are for them and uh, just the legs and the wings got finished praying mantis thanks for watching